Residents of the energetic city got a taste of Scotland this weekend. The 50th annual Robert Burns dinner was held Saturday night in the Immaculate Hall with a packed house. The evening was hosted by the Knights of Columbus and the Shriners, and organizers say it's a great example of how the city can pull together. It shows that we can, if there were any differences, we can put them aside, we can, uh, we can grow, and of course the city is always promoting community spirit and, and uh, getting along with each other. So this is one of those events I think that newcomers to town uh, should really take a look at because it, it just adds to all the other good stuff that we're doing in our city. My girl, she's airy, she's buxom and gay. Over 100 people were in attendance to recite poetry, listen to bagpipe music, and watch a Highland dancing demonstration. One of the highlights of the night was the address to the Haggis delivered by pipe major with the Rotary Pipe Band, John Haggerty. Haggerty delivered it in a Scottish brogue and became quite animated, swinging his knife above his head. There are two things you're trying to do. First of all, you're trying to say it with the, the thickest Scottish accent you can muster so that nobody can understand you. And you're trying, because of that, and that's entertaining, and because of that you need to be more animated so that people can even know what the heck you're talking about, you know, so you have to, to pantomime. And arms and legs and heads he'll stay. The final attendance tally was 109 people, which slightly exceeded last year's total. Organizers say that's proof of how important Robert Burns was. You look around, we're all out here, the poetry that was being read tonight, um, you know, we're celebrating, you know, really a man that, that died, you know, 250 some years ago, but obviously has made such an impact to society, uh, an impact to the world. One of the dignitaries in attendance was Mayor of Taylor, Rob Fraser. He gave the toast to the memory of Burns, and he says what made the poet great was that he wrote for the common man. The young folks of the day, you know, probably thought that his work was, was just was just so down to earth and so real because he wrote about real life. You know, the poem that I, that I quoted tonight, uh, To a Mouse, you know, uh, most people don't realize that he wrote that and that the famous line from that is, you know, the best laid, the best laid uh, plans of, of mice and men often go awry. And, uh, you know, that's life. Davy said one of the biggest positives from this year's event was the fact that a lot of young people were in attendance, which bodes well for the next 50 years. New Smith, CJDC TV News, Fort St. John.